boiled sweet potato and you feel like having dessert for lunch, this so is what you do. I literally took like quarter teaspoon coconut oil on a pan and then put in my sliced um, sweet potato wings and then some and, and some molasses um, or gul as you know in um, Indian language. Um, on it, you can either put honey, you can put long food sweetener, you can put brown sugar or whatever, just for a little bit of taste. And then once they're crispy at the bottom, I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna put some um, toasted oats on it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how crispy it is at the bottom. See that? That's exactly what you want. And it smells so good here. Um, I can't wait to just eat it as is. So just checking whether all of them are crispy enough. Yeah, they are. There you go. So this is ready to plate. Okay, so here I have this pre-prepared granola, which is toasted gluten-free oats with a slight drizzle honey and sea salt and some toasted nuts like pumpkin seeds, goji berries, and almonds. And I am literally going to plate a full teaspoon on these little sweet discs. And this is going to be my lunch. So I'm gonna really get on that complex carbohydrate train today with a ton of good nutrition. I can't wait to taste this. Fashion, it's not that easy to eat, but if you love granola and sweet potato and want to make a lunch out of it, this is the most yummy dish appetizer lunch ever. You probably wanna just eat the granola by itself on the spoon, but it would have absorbed some flavors from the cooked sweet potatoes. It would taste even yummy or just plop the whole disc in your mouth. So, happy eating. This is so delicious. I just took a half a bite. It's not that shabby, but it's so delicious. The crunchy granola on that sweet potato is just heavenly. This is such a perfect snack, so easy to throw together. If you're looking for ideas for Memorial Day weekend and want to snack smart, go for it.